Namaste. Good morning, everyone. Today, the topics what we are going to discuss is about you can create when your heart longs for singing. When you can create, you can create when your heart longs for singing. This is the topics, the article that is written by our respected guru. He is from Thiruvan University, Dr. Professor Dr. Gobindaraj Patrai. He is quite po popular in intellectual scenario. He is very famous person of Thiruvan University who was born in 27 July 1953. He is the professor of Thiruvan University. He is multi-talented person. He has uh, used his pain, not only one genre. He has used his knowledge in different genre. He has shared lots of knowledge, his intelligence. He is novelist. He is an assist literary critics is not only literary critics but also is linguist quite popular linguist and famous translator in addition to that he's a advisor of nelta and he's former chairperson of nelta nelta nepal english language teacher association that is Short introduction to Mr. Dr. Govindaraj Joshi from Thiru University, our respected guru. And from these topics, what he says is that, you see, he talks about creative writing. What is creative writing? Can you distinguish what is creative writing, what is critical writing? Yeah, he's talking, he's not talking about critical writing here is talking about creative writing critic writing it puts in the most important place in uh, among the different genre it keeps creative writing in top hierarchy it says that it is the essence of writing it is the core of writing Actually, it is the writing that is the byproduct of your heart. Heart, it's hard to say. It says it is hard to say that it was lawn, sort of acquired, so the indoor. There are three terms lawn, lawn, you lawn, using your knowledge, brains, that is the conscious learning techniques, acquires, acquire. Knowledge is that is the way you adopt this subconsciously. Don't have conscious learning to acquire the language and indoor, indoor. That is the special gift that is provided, equipped by God or the nature. It's not sure about that. Which one is important? Learn, acquire, so into it, whatever. What's the most important thing he says is that that is the path of the hearts. That is the path of the hearts. And creativity, you use the language of the heart. At that times, your brain becomes secondary and hearts become the primary one. He has been doing this for 40 years, but he does not remember any conference regarding creative writing. What is the way of the creative writing? He doesn't have any, you know, experience of, you know, participation in conference regarding creative writing. And he supposes it is his passion. Passion, you see, passion is the strong desire, strong desire. And he can't survive without it. Look at this point. He can't survive without it. That is the great thrust. That is the sharp thrust about the subject matter. That is the level of in interest. Because of that, you know, 
he was able to you know develop the skill of creative writing that's what he supports well he gave some environment of his home when he was a small boy at home you know he got conducive environment at home for his creative writing and says that his parents okay teachers society at that time liked high score rather than his composition they did not like composition they did not like the creative writing they expected you know intelligent child should get highest mark highest score yes it does not belong to creative writing it was considered it was means the creative writing was considered just only the you know uh, use of laser time if you have lots of laser time if you are free at that time you can uh, do such works which are creative and what is the difference between creative writing and prospective writing prospective writing it is emotionless has no imagination there is no emotion okay it is the byproduct of mind it is quite dry it based on intelligence not based on emotion and imagination creation according to mr patrai creation happens automatically creation happens automatically not by degree getting degree you know bachelor degree master degree phd no not that is not you know does degree does not give the creativity creativity creative writing that happens automatically because that is the path of heart it is an arts done by hearts creative writing is the that is the core of learning you see it is an art of course creative writing is an arts that is done by hearts as you see william wordsworth the famous english writer of romantic period poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feeling that is recollected in tranquility you see you see that similarity in idea between william wordsworth and the mr bandari okay started writing many years ago but still learning that is his greatness he says that he is not proud right he says that i am still learning yes that is his greatness this great writer but says that i am still learning and well some course of creative writing teaches there are some courses of the creative writing also but what he says such course which are designed for creative writing they don't teach creative writing they teach about creative writing they teach about creative writing not creative writing about creative writing see everybody cannot be equally creative says that everybody cannot be equally creative everyone has individual mind to think and in everyone has individual heart to feel and realize that's why the creativity is different individual to individual that's why creation cannot be happens everyone equally that differ from person to person that's not equal creativity is not the same process to the everyone but anyway that is the spontaneous path generated by our hearts well the writer mr bandari gives credit to his family to create such conducive environment he gives credits to his family because what was the environment because his father chant chanted prayer 
chanted prayer, right? That is mantras, okay? Used to listen to the stanza of Bhagavad Gita and Vedic recharge. And because of such, you know, uh, environments at homes, so chanting prayers in the homes, you know, he was strongly influenced from his childhood. Uh, because of that influence, that gradually that is, you know, that touch in the hearts he was not only influenced by Gita and the Vedic Richa, but also he was so much impressed by folk song. The writer was attracted by musicality of the language. Musicality of the language, where you can find the musicality of language, musicality of the language can be found basically in poetry and song. Because, you know, the, that's the combination of uh, different level of the sound. So, sounds, you know, quite soft and melodious. That's why we enjoy that. What he says, he was strongly influenced by the language of Jane Austen, one of the famous English writer, and he was influenced so much by Jane Austen, uh, but he says he was not so much success when he compared to the great scholar of the world. And he has composed many poems, but found difficult in meter. Basically, you know, at that times, uh, what he found is what to manage meter in the poetry was not easy. He found difficult to manage the meter. He supposes poetry is very difficult genre among different genre. Poetry is the most difficult genre among other genre. It can only be understood when we penetrate the deeper level of our hearts. It cannot be understood in the surface. To penetrate the real taste of the poetry, you have to penetrate first level, second, and the second, and second, and second. Likewise, you have to go deep down, deep down, deep down, and we have to touch the bottom of our hearts, then only we can enjoy the real taste of the poetry and real meaning of the poetry. That's what, you know, it says actually, that's what we suppose also. In youth, in youth, okay, he did not write similar types all the times when he was young, in his youth, he wrote love poems. Okay, let's see, he started writing from the love poems and later what happened? When one level of the writing poem that uh, completed, and what happened? He started writing. He started writing satirical, satirical writing. He started writing about the social criticism, social criticism, satire about the social um, weaknesses, social shortcomings. And then he started writing about some serious poem and ultimately, ultimately in his uh, complete maturity, he started writing sublime, sublime is what? Divine, that collected to transcendentalism, transcendentalism that goes beyond that, this materialistic world, this materialistic world, sublimity that mixed with the soul and the God and natures and the mystery. Okay, he compares poem with great writers and feels same. That is his greatness, you know. As you know that his writing is not less uh, important than the, any great writer of the world. We have seen his beautiful writings. He keeps poet in the highest level. Poets in the highest level among the writer of the different genre. They are like the tips of icebergs, you see. In tips of iceberg, what happened? The major parts of the ice that is drawn in the water, but tips is seen. Just like writer are like the tips of icebergs. Just the small tips are seen. The bigger person is hidden under the waters. The poet are 
the intelligence, the emotion, feeling, sentiments, magnanimity, which all hidden, only small parts it seen. That's the wonder of the writers. Basically, he gives too much emphasis and much, much priority to the poet. Mughlan is his first novel, Mughlan. That is the novel written by Robin, Dr. Bumdash, but right. And he suggests if poetry fails, suggest first poetry. If you are not able to write poetry, if poetry fails, then you start writing essay. If essay also you are not able to be successful in essay writing, of course, you uh, start writing drama. And even if you are not satisfied in drama, then you start writing criticism. Okay, poetry, essay, drama, and criticism, he keeps this different genre into different level. That is what he suggests. Okay. Let's go to the next one. He says that every creative writer is a self-made person. What does it mean, self-made person? William Shakespeare was not the poet taught by somebody else. He was not highly educated also, but his creativity was wonderful. Masterpiece level, his poetry are read, his poems are studied. That is the self-crafted, self-crafted, wonderful imagination, originality, emotion, feeling, sentiment, integrated together and artistically they play. They are like a club, you know, he takes that reference from religious book, Eklabbe. Eklabbe was the disciple of Guru. Dronachari and was not seen. It helps to uh, find position in the universe. It helps to find position in the universe. It means what? The creative writing, where we are. Okay. It's about the existence and, okay, mystic, mystic, what happened? That is not natural, mysterious. Okay, they are so much uh, imaginative, they are so much creative, and they are original, you know, they let flow the feeling, sentiment through the path of the hearts artistically. Those are, of course, creative. Creative writer is the fusion of many elements. Fusion of many, that is the integration of many elements, like individual arts and the intuition. Individual arts and the intuition, experience and experiment, and perseverance and the playfulness, emotion and imagination. My God, let's see. That is all the, you know, byproduct of these elements. That is the fusion of all these elements, creativity of the integration of these multiple elements. Only, you know, looks, it sounds really creative. Mostly, the themes are, in creative writing, what are most of the uh, themes? Obviously, you can guess that. Most of the themes which are made about the themes about love and separation, the revolt, jealousy, frustration, death, and celebration. These are some of the important themes. Basically, when poems and the songs are composed, okay, the themes like generally love, sometimes separation, sometimes revolt, sometimes jealousy, sometimes frustration, and sometimes with celebration, that is the mixture of the uh, smile and uh, tears, anger and the frustration. These are, you know, integration in the life of human being, such ups and downs, twists and turns, nook and corner occurs in the long journey of human life. We have to face that 
which all integrated together and as the fusion they comes as a byproduct as a creative writing and what is the style of we talk about the style of creative writing the style of creative writing is not the same even though the source is the same source that is the heart but the style differ from individual to individual all the creative writer in the world are not same they have unique style because you know everyone every individual writer sees thing differently perceives thing differently feel thing differently realize thing differently so that on the basis of that you know their byproduct become difference that's why the style is the same the style the different writer uh, difference individual to individual well it says that it says that giving must topmost priority it says the language of heart is the best language for creative writing that is the core okay the language of heart is the best language for creative writing the language of mind cannot be the language of creative writing that is academic writing that is intellectual writing that is report writing okay that is not creative writing this path you know does not make any wonderful creation creative writing is the path of hearts path of hearts it include imagination it include spontaneity it can it, can, it include feeling sentiment emotional things originality shots are included in the language of the heart that's why the language of the heart is the best language for creative writing and the heart of language is the universal language what is universal language the music it may be hindi music english music chinese music okay we just listen and enjoy that we don't need to if language spoken in chinese language other language you don't understand but you know the music music whatever language it is composed of immediately that touches your hearts and you know it gives us kind of sensation kinds of feeling pleasure it's so wonderful that the language of hearts that is not the language of mind for creative writing we need to uh, have the language of hearts that is the language of humanity that is universal language it is like a prayer which comes from the deeper corner of the hearts like a prayer prayer doesn't come from the surface level that come with the reverence devotion from the devotee that comes from the corner of the hearts that comes from the corner of the hearts okay says all his writing have have been the song of his heart and he confessed that honestly he said that whatever creative writing he has done which all the by product of his heart have been the song of his heart ultimately he says that what he says ultimately we can be creative writers if our hearts longs to sing what time whenever you become very happy when you whenever you are and very sad at time you know your heart become active and that time you start humming something okay if hearts longs to sing at that time you know that is the conducive environment for creative writing living our mind away at that time what happened is suggest that our mind should not be active at that time our feeling should not be interferes by our mind 
we should you know just let it flow the emotion imagination continue let flow it we have to listen to our inner being not the mind inner being that's the core from the hearts listen to our inner being the universal language the language of humanity we just let it flow without any intervention of the mind intellects okay everybody wish you you understood the lesson very much thank you for listening patiently okay keep on learning